The Stations of the Cross began many years ago when pilgrims who journeyed to Jerusalem traveled along the same path that Jesus Christ did when he carried his cross to Calvary. We can now follow the same, following the way of the cross in churches or at home, while meditating on what happened to Jesus on his way to Calvary, where he died for us and opened the gates of heaven. Stations are places where people wait while they are going from one place to another. There are 14 stations of the cross altogether. Each station is something that happened to Jesus as he suffered and went on to die for us. Each station shows us how much Jesus loved us. Dear Jesus, today we will follow you and pray with you as we go to the stations you visited on your final journey of love. You loved us so much that you gave up your life for us. Help us to give our love to others. We know that if we are kind to those around us, then we are being kind to you. Today, we take with us our cross to remind us of the families and children in need around the world during this time. Let us never forget them. First Station Jesus is Condemned to Death At the first station, Jesus is arrested and brought before Pontius Pilate by the soldiers and chief priest. Pilate knows that Jesus is not guilty of any crimes. He tells the crowd that Jesus is innocent. But the people don't listen. They scream at him. Some of them tell lies about him, saying that he did bad things. Instead of doing what is right, Pilate chooses to ignore the truth to please the people and condemns Jesus to die. Jesus didn't defend himself. He knew he needed to die for our sins. He knows that God is with him. He even asks God to help him forgive the people who are yelling and telling lies about him. Second Station Jesus Carries His Cross Jesus knows that he has done nothing to deserve the punishment. When the soldiers put a big heavy cross on Jesus' shoulders, Jesus doesn't fight with them or say any angry words to them. He quietly carries this cross. He offers up his sufferings to show the Father how much he loved all the people. Third Station Jesus Falls for the First Time Jesus was already badly wounded, and there was a crown of thorns around his head. He was also weak from hunger and thirst and being beaten with whips. The heavy cross keeps pushing onto his shoulders. The stones hurt his legs. The people lined the rocky road and yelled insults at him. Suddenly, Jesus falls to the ground. But Jesus struggles and gets right back up. He does not complain. He does not quit. He keeps trying to do what he must do so that we can go to heaven. Fourth Station Jesus Meets His Mother There are many, many people in the crowd watching Jesus. Among them is Mary, the mother of Jesus. Mary is so sad because she sees how much her son is suffering. She cannot stop his pain, yet Mary has faith that this is part of God's divine plan to save the world. Fifth Station Simon helps Jesus to carry his cross. Jesus is so tired that the soldiers know that he cannot carry the heavy cross himself. So they look around and see someone 
who was strong enough to help Jesus carry this cross. Simon of Cyrene is one of the people watching Jesus. The soldiers pull Simon toward the road. Simon does not want to carry a criminal's cross, as people may think he is a criminal too. But when Simon looks at Jesus, he has a change of heart. Jesus just looks at Simon and quietly whispers, Thank you. Then they continue on the long road, carrying the cross together. Sixth Station Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. Jesus is tired and sweating. His face is covered in dust from the long walk. There is one woman watching who loved Jesus very much. Her name is Veronica. She is not afraid of the soldiers. Veronica pushes her way through all the people and rushes up to Jesus. She takes a clean cloth and gently wipes the sweat and blood from Jesus' face. Hello, viewers. If you can pledge a small monthly donation as low as $2 on Patreon, you can watch exclusive videos, bonus content, get free merchandise, and much, much more. Just go to patreon.com slash Christian Kids. We hope you enjoy the video. Thank you. Seventh Station. Jesus falls the second time. Even though Jesus had help from Simon and Veronica and encouragement from his mother Mary, he just can't take another step. He falls again on the rough stones and dirt. The journey is a long one. But Jesus finds the strength to get back up and keep going. Eighth Station The women of Jerusalem weep for Jesus. After Jesus gets up, he continues carrying the heavy cross. He passes some women who are crying because they are so sad to see Jesus suffer. Instead of thinking only of himself and how badly he feels, Jesus tells the women not to keep crying. Daughters of Jerusalem, do not cry for me, but for yourselves and your children. He means that they should not weep for him, since he was not guilty of any sins, but they should weep for all those who are actually sinners. Jesus shows you that he was willing to accept any punishment on earth in order to save sinners from receiving even worse punishment in hell. Ninth Station Jesus falls for a third time. Jesus is so tired now that he hardly can take another step. It takes all of his strength to hold up his heavy wooden cross, even with Simon's help. Jesus' knees give out, and he falls to the ground one last time. Some people in the crowd wonder if he would ever stand up again. Others yell at him to get up. Jesus prays to God to give him strength, and he gets up again. Tenth Station Jesus is stripped of his garments. Finally, Jesus reaches Golgotha the hill where he is to be crucified. Jesus knows that he will die here. Like all condemned criminals, Jesus is stripped of his clothing before they crucify him. Jesus stands in front of the crowd with just a small piece of cloth covering part of his body. Jesus asks God to help him remember that he is not alone, that God is with him through all of this. 11th station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. Jesus willingly lays himself on the cross. The soldiers nail him to the cross using big hammers. How much Jesus hurts when he was being nailed to the cross. He hurts all over. 
the cross is raised up and he is left to hang there. Jesus looks down at Mother Mary and his apostle John. He says to Mary, Woman, behold your son. And to John, Behold your mother. By doing this, Jesus was giving Mary to be the mother of not only John, but all Christians. He knows that he is going to die, but he looks at the people who have hurt him. And instead of saying bad things to those people, Jesus asks God to forgive them. Even when Jesus is dying, he is thinking of other people. Twelfth Station, Jesus dies on the cross. Finally, after a long time on the cross, Jesus looks up to heaven and says, Father, into your hands I give my spirit. It is finished. Then he bows his head and dies. Then an earthquake shakes the ground and cracks rocks too to crash open. The giant veil of the Jewish temple was torn in two from top to bottom. A soldier who stood there said, Truly, this was the Son of God. Thirteenth Station Jesus is taken down from the cross. As Jesus' lifeless body is taken down from the cross, there are no more pains or sufferings for Jesus. All the pain is over. Mary holds him tenderly in her arms. Her heart is filled with sorrow, but it is also filled with perfect trust that God will make everything turn out for the best. Mary's faith is the model for you to trust that God will never abandon you, even in your darkest moments. 14th Station a man named Joseph of Arimathea gets permission to get Jesus' body. Joseph and the other disciples of Jesus takes the body and wraps it in clean linen. Then they place Jesus' body in a new tomb and roll a big rock in front of it to seal it. All of Jesus' followers go home because they are very sad and tired. Our Blessed Mother and disciples were very sad as they left Jesus in the tomb. But this was the way that God chose to teach us how to obey, how to live, how to love, and how to be with Him in heaven. And just remember that three days later, Jesus rolls the rock away. At the end of the way of the cross, you should always look forward to Easter morning when Jesus rises again. Jesus Christ crucified, have mercy on us. Hello, viewers. I just wanted to take a moment to request you to pray for us and donate if you can. If you can donate just $5, Christian Kids TV can keep making more videos like this. If you are not in a position to donate, then do pray for us. In fact, prayer support is very important to our mission. Thanks for your time, and we hope you enjoy the video.